down on the floor. But now San Miguel beginning to assert its authority with size underneath the boards. 38-31. The lead down to seven. Salvacion, left side. Cross court they go, Helterbrand. You see the zone defense in play here by San Miguel. Oh, foul. Well, Togade fouled Salvacion with the offensive okay. rebound. Number 18, Lord you know, Kenito, despite the eight three-point shots and almost a 50% clip from the three-point area, San Miguel sticking to a zone defense against Barangay Ginebra. Well, making it a little difficult for Ginebra to use its quickness in penetrating. Coach uh, Shot Parkinson taking his chances, actually, you know, a big gamble on their part to get... Barangay never to fall in love with that outside shot, which is a low percentage shot. Hey, you, there's no way they can keep up a 50% oh, yeah. clip the whole ball game. As Sunday Salvacion uh, missing both free throws. That's a call here. I think the call will be that the ball was already in the cylinder and it's going to be a goaltending. Now the referees are conferring because under FIBA rules, you can slap that ball away after it hits the ring, even if it's still above the cylinder. Now, under the old PB PBA rules, that's, that's a goaltending. Now, referees are conferring so here. That should not count. Inadvertent whistle. Oh, so, yeah, so it doesn't count. Yeah. It was an inadvertent whistle. Resulting to a jump ball. And it happened right in front of the... The referee was right in front of the San Miguel bench. Well, the thing is... May conversion yata yung Barangay Ginebra pakatapos dun eh. So a little bit of confusion here. The referee's admitting that they made a mistake. That was not a goaltending. Well, the ball belongs to San Miguel. I think the argument was there shouldn't have been a jump ball because San Miguel had possession. From the outside, Washington short on the three-point attempt. And a foul will be called on Wesley Gonzalez. You know, we were talking about Don Don and Quiveros needing to be on target in this game. But he needed to hit his strike. So far, Don Quiveros is zero in this game. Well, we do have a timeout here on our provincial Saturday ball game here in Batanga City. You are watching the PBA on CS9. We'll be right back. You see the score with the time remaining in the lower left-hand corner. And uh, Kenito, on Dean's list natin, perimeter firepower for San Miguel. Well, you take a look at uh, what they've done so far. Barangay Nebra getting the job done from that distance. And for San Miguel, not quite. So that's an X mark for San Miguel. And Don Arlant Veras has been the missing link in the outside shooting of San Miguel. Ontiveros has not scored in this contest and we did say at the top of our coverage he averaged 18 points in the last three games. Well he never has possession. Up by seven. Valenzuela out to Helter Brand. They give it to the baseline. Out to Junti. Salvacion, another three-point attempt. And that's what San Miguel's hoping for. Ginebra falling in love with that three-point shot. And they start missing. Casella on the right side. Setting the play. Gets a screen from Washington. Takes another three-pointer. And he hits it. Olsen Casella. And he was emphatic. He fell to the ground. Actually, he felt like he was fouled and bumped by Helterbrand. You know, he's picking up a slack here from Don Deron Tiveros. He's got eight points now, all in this quarter, with two three-point shots. Well, so, remember, uh, Barangay Ginebra, at least for this conference, is uh, very used to winning on the road. And Hassan Miguel is 0-2, Ginebra is 2-0. So the senior statesman leading the charge here, late in the first half. 
This is Helter Brand. The lead is down to four. Ahead to Wilson. Willie Wilson finds Eric Mank out to Helter Brand for another three-point attempt and another miss. Here comes San Miguel. Chance to cut the lead to two. Rasella, hesitation move, tries to get past Helterbrand, nothing there, spins, baseline, the shot doesn't go, offensive rebound, Peña, Peña inside he goes, still not there, the tip is not there, and Peña finally gets the back shot. Peña! And the crowd, advantage. the crowd applauds the effort of Dorian Peña. Now, Coach Sotan can send. see his boys giving the kind of effort that he's been asking them from the start. Well, no timeout from coach Joseph Yuchico. The lead is down to two, almost a turnover there for Valenzuela. Against Gonzalez, cross court, they rotate. Salvashon fakes the three. A long two-pointer for Salvashon, and San Miguel has a chance to tie with this possession. So the long shots of Barangay Nebra now not finding their mark. So this is the gamble of coach Sotang Kinsen, and it's paying off. Rasela. Against Helterbrand, drives inside for the tie. He got it. Oh, We're tied at 38 oh, here in Batanga City. And Olsen Rosella knows it. He's been the man of the hour here for San Miguel. Valenzuela, hounded by Rosella, cross court to Salvason. They swing it all the way to Valenzuela once again. Double team, Helterbrand for the lead. Got it. JJ Helferbrand regains the lead for Barangay Ginebra. A 30 second timeout has been called here. I think the shot clock has been switched off. So this might be the last possession of the first half. So interesting that Barangay Ginebra at the time when they needed the basket again going not only to their main man JJ Helferbrand but also going to their main shot, which is a three-pointer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here at the PBA, we give our audience more than just exciting and action-packed games. We give them surprises as well, like a gift certificate from Mr. Donut, and that is the Roncan family right here in Batanga City. Maguwi ng sarap, maguwi ng saya, only from Mr. Donut. And San Miguel, plus four in the rebounding department. Froilen that Bagonda has, yeah. has entered the ball game, replacing Olsen Masella for this last possession. And Masella, what a job he's done for San Miguel. Ten points have scored in the second period. San Miguel has not led in this game. They forced one deadlock so far. But the biggest lead of Ginebra was 14. I mean, that's what you gotta love as a coach. You know, you know some of your key players did not play well, but the others from the bench come in, plug the hole, just like what Olsen Rosella has plugged with the missing, uh, uh, I guess, contribution from Don Don Hontiveros. And it's all about stepping up. As you take a look at team standings again, Jude. Well, San Miguel is only a half game ahead of Barangay Ginebra. They have the same number of losses, and uh, San Miguel has one win. So if Barangay Ginebra wins here, they move up a half game ahead of uh, San Miguel at 9-8. Uh, and eight, uh, San Miguel goes 9-9. Uh, nine and nine. But if San Miguel wins, uh, they improve their chances of getting the outright semifinal slot as well. Exactly. And for Barangay Ginebra, they've got two more games to go outside of this one. Then they have a last game against Rainer Shine, which is also in the running for a semifinal slot. So it's going to be very crowded at the top. The only sure thing so far, number one, Alaska is in the semifinals, and number two, Red Bull has been eliminated. But everything in between, anything goes. That's right. Some teams have already been assured of quarterfinal slots, however. Here's Washington, two in the clock. Washington, the fadeaway. Not there. So 24 minutes have gone by here in Batanga City. The PBA on the road. It's Barangay Ginebra. A three-point advantage over the San Miguel Beermen. 41 to 38. And at courtside, Pichi Sabirin is with Ronald Tubin. Okay, hi Ronald. The last two games, you know, hindi naging maganda si Polanyo. Medyo slow kayo yung sluggish. But in today's game, from the very start, high intensity na. Well, siguro, ano, kailangan namin, kailangan, kailangan namin manalo every game. So parang, naninginayin kami kasi panalo na minsan, panalo na, hindi ka natalo. So ngayon, kailangan talaga namin manalo every game. So kailangan pukpuk talaga kami. Okay, and then, 
Miguel has a taller lineup yet hindi kayo nagpapaiwan in fact kayo pa ang lamang well siguro uh, malaki mal mas, mas taller sila sa amin pero mas bigger yung heart namin that's why siyo lamang kami ngayon kay Conte okay thank you Ronald see you later Jude oh well said huh Well, big heart, big heart for Paragay Nebra. Well, Ronald Tubid used all of his heart here in the first <laughs> half as uh, he hit all five of his field goals. He was on target for the Barangay Ginebra Jin Kings, leading them to a three-point advantage. It's Don Don Ontiveros against JJ Helterbrand, San Miguel versus Ginebra, right here in Batanga City. It's the PBA on CS9.